Hello fellow survivors, today we're going to look at hunting in pilgrim mode. I know that a lot of players play pilgrim because they prefer that relaxing experience where there's less challenges from the weather, lots of loot and all that sort of stuff. However there is one difficulty with being pilgrim that is unique to that difficulty and that is that all the animals run away from you. That means you can never really get close to a wolf or a bear or a moose and they, because they're just going to flee from you. This means that you are quite safe, but it does mean that hunting them becomes quite difficult because, well, you just can't reach them. So today we're going to look at how you can hunt on pilgrim mode. Let's get to it. Now hunting on pilgrim mode is actually not that difficult because there's only one thing you really need to do and that is have patience because what it's really about is getting close to the animals. When you get too close they will run away but if you use the crouching function you can get really really close to an animal allowing you to get a better shot and then you can hunt them. Before we go into more detail, I should point a couple things out about hunting on Pilgrim. First is that you shouldn't use the revolver. The revolver, as I've said many times before, is not a hunting weapon. It's meant to be a deterrent. It's not that you can't hunt with a revolver, you certainly can, and you can one-shot wolves and stuff like that, but it's not what it's really for. If you use the revolver to hunt, there's a high likelihood that you only wound the animal and it will run off somewhere and you're going to have to find it. Uh, if you want to hunt with a revolver, of course you can, but it just it's uh, not really what it's for and it will be more uh, It will take more effort to do it basically. The other thing is the bow and uh, the bow is a great weapon But unless you can get archery to level 5, it's not worth using the bow to hunt on pilgrim either This is because you can't crouch uh, with the bow and uh, that means that if you want to hunt on pilgrim with the bow You're gonna have to shoot from a distance or you have to crouch up close to the animal and then stand up and fire your weapon right away. Uh, that's pretty much the only way you can do it. Because on pilgrim mode the animals won't get close and attack you, so therefore you are relying on either sneaking up and being very quick or doing long distance shots with the bow since you can't crouch. If you do get archery at level 5 though, it will be easier, you can just crouch up to the animal and shoot it. Therefore, hunting on pilgrim should be first and foremost done with the hunting rifle. And it's pretty straightforward, really. Uh, the way you should do it is to get as close as possible. So remember here, patience is key. Just take your time, get as close to the animals as possible. On the other difficulties, there are tricks you can use to get the animals closer to you. For example, you can carry some meat or guts and that will cause you to stink. And then wolves and bears will come looking for you and they'll get close, allowing you to get a better shot. But on Pilgrim this mechanic is disabled, you can go around being soaked in raw meat and the wolves will not care, they will just go about the business and they'll run away when you get close. So therefore you need to take your time, get as close as you can to the animals in question. Now with deers, uh, that's pretty much the same as any other difficulty, they just run away when you get too close. But with wolves and bears, if you want to kill those, you just gotta crouch and slowly sneak your way and then when you have an opportunity, you need to shoot them in the face. Uh, let's start with wolves first. With wolves, you can pretty much down them in one shot, even if you're level one uh, rifle uh, mastery, because if you hit them in the head, they will usually go down right away. So just get close to them and wait for an opportunity to shoot them right in the head, and they should go down in one shot. And that's about it, really. With bears, it's a little bit harder because you're not guaranteed to one-shot them. It is possible to kill a bear with one shot, 
with both the rifle, bow, and also the flare gun, but uh, you're not guaranteed uh, to do it. So with hunting a bear works the same way as with wolves. You just got to get as close as possible. And when you have the opportunity, try shooting the bear in the face. The bear will most likely flee and you should take the opportunity to get another shot in. And if you're lucky, the bear will go down. If the bear doesn't go down, you have two options. You need to either uh, pass time, so go somewhere, ideally not indoors, but maybe a cave or something, and pass time and then eventually the bear will bleed out and then you can go out and you can find the bear. The other option is to track the bear. You just look in the snow for blood and footprints and you track it until eventually you find it. Keep in mind that if the bear hasn't died yet, it's possible that you can hear when you reach the bear. When you get close to the bear when it's bleeding out, you'll see that the footprints start going closer together and they seem fresher. And you might hear some noises over the hill, you know, making little mm, like a growling noises. And that means the bear is close. If you approach the bear when it's that close, it could run off again. Once you find the bear, um, if it's still alive, you could, if you want, take another shot at it. And it might die, but it might also reset and flee once again and run off. And you're going to have to find it again until eventually it dies. Or you could just wait it out. If it is bleeding, it will eventually just die. And that is pretty much it to it. I would recommend that when you hunt bears, you should think of a contingency. Because ideally you want to make sure that when you hunt the bear, you have an exit strategy. Like maybe you are at the vantage point that you can jump down from, or you have a fire in between you and the bear. Uh, this is because normally the bears will attack you when you uh, hunt them. On Pilgrim this doesn't usually happen, but sometimes if you hit the bear and then hit it again while it's running, sometimes the bears will come back and they'll, uh, they'll maul you. Also, if you get too close to the bear, if you suddenly approach it, it can still maul you. Uh, but it's rare to be mauled by a bear on Pilgrim, but it, it, it does happen. Hunting a moose, I'm not going to really go into any more detail about because it's the same as hunting a bear. It's just that moose are rarer than bears, but other than that, the way you hunt a moose is exactly the same as how you hunt a bear. Uh, shoot it, I hope it dies, and if not, track it down or get another shot in, and then get the moose. And that's about it. So yeah, that's all there is to really say about hunting on Pilgrim. You just gotta be patient by crouching and getting closer to the prey and then shoot it when you have an opportunity. Be patient and wait for a clear shot. Don't try and shoot animals from far away because it's really difficult to hit them. If you are of the impatient type, you could also uh, crouch spam. So you, you kind of spam the crouch button. So you go up and down, up and down, up and down. This will not cause the animal to flee and you can get to them a little bit closer. So that's one way you can, you can speed up the crouching process. <laughs> but other than that, there's not much to it. Just take your time, get a clean shot and then shoot them in the face. And that's pretty much how it works. And that's it for this uh, hunting video. If you would like to know more about playing on Pilgrim, I have a beginner's guide that shows you the bit gist of how to play the long dark on Voyager. And I'm also going to make a Voyager walkthrough in the near future. And Voyager and Pilgrim is very similar. So if you would like to play on Pilgrim, you can watch a Voyager video and you'll learn all the same things. The only major difference between Pilgrim and the other levels is that the animals run away. But other than that, they're just slightly different versions of each other. If you'd like to know more, you can check out those videos. See you next time, survivors. Bye bye.